So you're thinking about moving to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area and you're considering moving to Niceville, but you like most everyone else is wondering, is Niceville nice? Well, my team and I put together an entire list of things that people around us that have moved to this area have told us that they absolutely love. So make sure to stick around to the end because that may make or break your decision. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about this area. As a 14 year military vet, now military spouse, I've moved tons of places. And every time that I moved to some place new, I always saw that there was a lack of information about where to live. That's why this channel is created for you. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that little bell so that you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, texts every single day from people that are moving to this area, need some help, and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about moving to this area, or even if you are moving to this area and you need some help, go ahead and give us a call, text, email, send us a little paper airplane, whatever you need to do. We got your back when moving here to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. Speaking of that, let's talk about Niceville. Is Niceville nice? Well, we got eight points that people have told us that they absolutely love about living there. So let's jump right into it. Number one on the list is the great public schools. Everybody in the area wants their kids to go to Niceville High School. It's rated A in the area and is touted to have some of the best academics in sports programs around. Number two on the list is that small town Friday night feel even if it's not Friday. <laughs> so you can enjoy, if it's football season, there'll be football games out in the stadium by the, the high school. Uh, you're gonna see activities and games, even karaoke at some of the bars uh, during the weekend. It's just a great small town feel. Number three is the light traffic that's in this area. It's nice and conveniently located that there are alternative routes to get around Niceville to go wherever else you need to go in the area. So most people will drive around Niceville to get to Destin, Crestview, Fort Walton Beach, and that leaves traffic up to you as a local. Number four on our list is the easy access to interstates, the Eglin Air Force Base, and the airport. Just a quick drive down Highway 20 will bring you right to the airport uh, for Destin Fort Walton Beach. You also have Highway 293 that's gonna take you into Destin, and then you have Highway 85, which is going to take you all the way into Crestview, which connects with the Interstate 10, which of course goes to Pensacola and Panama City Beach. Number five is the easy access to water activities. That's pretty cool. You're gonna have boat launches, marinas, docks, maybe your own personal dock, but you have access to the water pretty much anywhere in this area. Number six on our list is Third Planet Brewery. I feel like that should have been number three. Third Planet Brewery is a local brewery that uh, has really great uh, atmosphere at both locations. They have their original location as well as a place called The Mothership, which is actually over there by Walmart in Knightsville. If you go into there, especially The Mothership, besides tasty brews, they also have live bands on the weekends. They also have cornhole tournaments and an array of just great things and a lively atmosphere. So definitely go check that out. Number seven is a short boat ride or car ride all the way into Destin. So depending on where you are in Niceville, you could be 10 to 20 minutes away from where you wanna be in Destin. As well as a boat ride, It well, that's gonna really depend on what you're taking to get there. If you're in a canoe or if you're in a sailboat, it's gonna take quite some time. However, if you've got a nice boat, you could be there in no time. And the last one that we have for you is the restaurants in the area. They have everything from German food like schnitzel to Hawaiian to sushi to Mexican and seafood on the bay. 
Uh, they have it all in this area and they're really, really good restaurants. So definitely go and check those out. So that's all that we have for you to see if Niceville is, well, nice. Well, if you ask us, it is nice. So if there's something else that we left out that you really like about Niceville, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, again, you can leave them in the comments here below. Again, if you are moving to this area and you need some help, go ahead and give us a call, text, email, whatever you need to do. We've got your back when moving here to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. Again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group with EXB Realty, and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.